going to show you how to create a simple line graph in Microsoft Excel for Mac 2011. This is the process that you would use anytime you want to graph changes in value over time. So in our example, in particular, we're looking at the number of fiction books published per year from 2002 to 2011. But like I said, any time that you're graphing changing numbers over time, this is the process you would use. So the first step is you need to have a spreadsheet open and you need two columns of data. And I've got that right here. Uh, the left column are the years, the right column are the uh, number of books published. And you select any cell in those two columns, it really doesn't matter which one. Go up to the ribbon, make sure you're in charts here and select line which is the second one from the left and we want the simplest type of line graph which is the upper left line graph. Now there's a couple surprises here we've got an extra line in our graph it's graphing our left column our year column as though it's a series of values and then there's a second related problem which is that the the x-axis the categories are just sequential numbers 1 through 11 and not years. So we need to fix both of those problems. And actually there's a third problem still uh, which is that the uh, chart, the series of values of books published in the chart is starting in number 2 instead of number 1. So as you can see up here we have a whole extra row and I believe that's because it's selecting the title as, those, as though those are um, data cells. So we can change all of that pretty easily. And what you do is you either control click or what I'm going to do is right click anywhere on the chart and click on select data. And the first thing we want to do is delete that extra series which is series 1 because you know it's on the left so hence series 1. So I'm going to select series 1 and to delete it I click remove. So that's gone. We solved the first problem. Now the second problem was the um, the categories are sequential numbers instead of years. So we need to change the category x-axis labels right here. As you can see, they're blank right now. To do that, we want to click on this red and blue and black boxy symbol to the right of the blank field. And now it allows us to select the data source. And as you can see, there's this blue box following my cursor. So I'm going to select my left column, 2002 through 2011. And in order to select it, I click hold the button down and drag and then release the button when I've selected all those years then now that I've selected it I click enter or return on my keyboard so now those d dates are filled in the data is filled in there and if I click OK you can see it down here it's a little bit cramped so I'm just going to expand the chart so now it's, it's clear, it's easy to see 2002, 2003, 2004, and so on has replaced 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now we've still got that third problem, which is that my series is actually beginning in the second value. And that's because if I can click on the series itself, you can see here that my uh, x-axis in purple are the correct cells, but my data series itself has an extra row up here in cell 49B. So what I want to do to fix that is go back, right click, go back to selecting the data, and I can see right in here that my Y values start at 49B and go to 59B, and what I want that to be, as I said, is I want it to start at, right there, at 50B. So I just click there, select 49, type in 50, press enter, and now my series starts where it should in the year 2002, ends where it should in the year 2011. There's only the one series rather than two series, and as we can see here, uh, there are no extra um, rows or cells or columns selected. So everything is as it should be and what we might have expected it to be to begin with. But as you can see, it's quite easy to fix. So that's that.